Uh, buenos dias, senoras y señoritas. Um, uh, thank you, Ishmael Perez, for reminding us tomorrow's a big day. Uh, that's uh, You can give meaning to however you want to do the alpha form formatting, right? Friday, you know, Kentucky fried chicken has been fried. Right, fry, you know what fry is, put the fire, Hell's Kitchen. They invert everything, right? Um, so tomorrow is uh, three, what? Three, three, right? 23, you know, uh, which is 11, right? My birthday is 11, three. Um, and, uh, so as numbers as energy means, you know, H2 plus 1, 21% oxygen is 3, right? Chromosome 21. So I was going to just share with you sort of a, a subject that I, I've covered, but to really just bring a tight focus on it, like a condensate, right? Just pull it all in like a player the integrator does. Pull all the fragments that have been lost as a result of going to war in their mirror. And I was listening to just a very short little segment, probably only a few sentences that Mohawk, whose longhouse Milo Stewart was holding what he calls his two row wampum group uh, Zoom meeting. Uh, I guess this was either last night or this morning. I, I don't pay attention to dates and times. I just listen to what the information is informing me of, what they're experiencing at the time that they're communicating it that I become aware of. That's it. I process it, and what does it mean, right? It's just like I sent a message into my clan mother's window, you know, about living in the past versus being a monopole, which means you're always experiencing what love is, which means you're not experiencing any time. You're only experiencing what's real, which is real light, which is eternal light, which is eternal light, and love through your own heart and soul, right? So you're not experiencing the past. You're experiencing what you experience next, which is what love creates to experience next, whatever that is. It's going to be different than the last. So you're not held captive to what's called the time loop. Because that's what this system runs. That's what this QI runs. It's always in the past because it can't catch up to zero as a result of the souls that keep being fractured as a result of what? A war game mirror. It's an AI war game mirror. When you make a positive move, it makes a counter move. Counter space. So it's that's and he mentioned that Mohawk mentioned that called the forced side. So I've certainly covered it is that as long as these beings are using their souls in order to go to war against themselves in their own mirror, because of what is there that is in their mirror that has been brought into creation, which is Og Tellers describe that with Lily Cole Zola in a very good way. You want to go down and, and experience all the monsters and, and and all the things that are there to scare you. And I mentioned how when I was 15 years of age, right? And I'm inside of a vehicle with a good friend of mine who's one of the most peaceful young men I've ever met in my life. He was about 16. He was like a senior in high school and I was a freshman. And the next thing I know is I realized there was kinetic energy that was holding the accelerator down because I could pull my foot off of it and realize, wow, it's still down there moving the vehicle. I took my hands off the vehicle and the steering wheel was turning around the corner. I'm realizing I'm not driving this vehicle. And as I turned to my right, what did I see? It would look as if you saw somebody that was in a casket that was buried in the ground that came up out of the dead, as we used to say, you know, the, the dead rising up out of being dead what something would look like if it was dead, right? In other words, it's several hundred years old, but it still has the face as if it looks like a, a what we used to call a prune, you know, like all the air had been sucked out of it with all the lines, right? In other words, it's not expanded with an enormous amount of bioregeneration so that it looks like that face did when it was 11 years old, when it was full of radiance, right? There wasn't radiant at all, right? It was like a raisin, what we call raisin face because of the lines, 
but it's been sucked down, right? As as the way in which the aging process takes place and the relationship to telomeres and all the rest of it, right? Between acid and alkaline. Nevertheless, this is what we call energy transfer. So in other words, this is a fear-based being because it acknowledges that I'm a love-based being. I'm experiencing love in my heart. So what's happening is now there's energy transfer between what I'm experiencing now through it that I experience in me, right? That's how it works when you're monopole. I'm experiencing what you're experiencing. I'm realizing this thing's scared as hell of me. So now I'm experiencing the fear in it in me. And I jumped out of that vehicle. Because what I looked at looked like something that it was a warlock is what it was. So that's energy transfer, which is an experience transfer. So you get a chance to come down here to experience all the monsters and and all the boogeyman and all the last of it when Patty Broussard was right. We're the real boogeymans because we have infinite creative imagination in which I've mentioned many times about if you wanted to talk about character types, which are character maps on a keyboard, which are musical notes, which are mathematical programming codes of matter codes, you know, matter state, any matter state, right? And the speed at which those two are actually occurring based on the density that you're at of what you're experiencing. So again, you, we become the creators or the inventors, okay, of what it is that we experience in our own mind based on the vibration, the frequencies to which we're experiencing who we are, right? So what that means is, so for, for, for example, when, when Mohawk would talk about certain subjects and he uses... He refers a lot to the white race Europeans, and I don't do that, okay, because I've described through my videos that I leave that side of the equation completely out because I describe it and experience it in energy, spirit that is in energy. So if I mentioned yesterday, for example, using the example of Mama, the great living spirit of Mama Earth, she was posing, that's what I call it. She was, a, you know what a pose is, right? You're posing for the camera, posing for the holographic viewfinder, your, te your television station, right? Your mirror. And she was showing herself in form to be a goddess where the huge flames were coming up out of the caldera, out of the liquid magma, the bow voltage, right? So you realize... You can present yourself in whatever form and shape and color that you want. It's the energy that is communicating itself in spirit form, what you're now experiencing with a lot of voltage. Yeah, 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 girl. See? So I translate it differently. I translate everything by the energy that I'm experiencing, whether or not it's real or not, which is whether it's love or not. That's one. I'm a one. A single candle. Light the fire, baby. Let's get this universe going. So you need a grower. So I'm going to grab a girl to do it with. So I'm never separated from her. And that's called fusion and fission coming together. Male and female coming together to be one. So that we're gifting energy forever. Wherever we go, we're experiencing we are, which is what love is. It goes on forever. Simple is as simple does. Right? So you realize we're... With me, I'm constantly circulating, you know, like bile circulation. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Now you have all your cellular memories, so you realize you have RAM, which is minus slash plus. What you're holding in memory, what you're not holding in memory. What you don't need to hold in memory anymore, what you don't need. What you do hold in memory anymore, based on what it is that we're doing here. So that means you're constantly circulating through your circulation, which is your bile voltage, right? Magnetic drive motor of experiencing so many different things that are happening all the time, but we do normally do not repeat those experiences at all in any kind of sequence because we can be all over the place, right? Scramble the signals, right? That's your shield, your crystalline shield, the template, the universal template. Now you get into every universe. And so in this particular case, for example, if somebody wants to cover a particular subject, which means now you're wanting to know something that's already been held in memory in the past, go right ahead, right? And to the relevance of it to learn how we arrived at where we're at now, right? I, I'm guessing that's why we do that, 
right? The historical records. And then, of course, you realize most people have ever studied military history know full well that the winner writes the history afterwards, right? Because they don't want you to know the truth of what really happened. Now you can get into the Emerald Founder records, and then you can see, because I know this, that the records got corrupted because of what they knew how to do with blank slate technology, which are memory wipes and reprogram you. That's one of the reasons this got sorted out in sort of a different way. <clears throat> because of that, their ability to alter records and alter, right? Using technology. So for example, if you started out with 100% of a sphere, right? Or 100% of a circle, or if you want, make it easy, a clock, start with zero with the top and go all the way around. The spin ratio harmonic between right and left sides, right? So when you're one, your joint is one, which means there isn't any time. Your internal beam, which means you're running on eternal fire, which is a pure fire, right? And so it makes it easy to sort of translate everything because if it isn't what love is, we'll know it. That's your detector. That's your sensor. So you're hypersensitive. So you're hyperspeed, which is hyperdimensional. So it means whatever you want to experience is up to you because you're running on the hottest fire. So you're naturally burning up anything that is less than what you are, which is what love is. Right? That's total surrender. See? So the X side, when they put the X up all the time, that means, hey, you you relate more to being the fourth side, which is the the, uh, the male side. See? So in other words, how much of a flower do you got within you? You know, your X and Y chromosomes, are they balanced? Right? No, I'm running the fourth side. You know, I'm not feeling much, much of a flower in me, right? And so you can translate how that is mathematically, why that is. It's called resistant mode to experience being a flower, being with the flower. So that you're protecting the flower because you are the flower just as much as you are the seed of the penis. So, okay. <laughs> So how this relates to circulation libraries is that I don't want to reinvent the wheel that already happened. So all that's one of the reasons why I recommend if you want to learn about certain things, I'll recommend a particular channel. Or, for example, when it comes to the history of the treaties, the Native Indians and the clans, I refer that to Karen Ann McDonald, my clan mother, because she's got all that in her head. It's still being held in her library, Right. So in other words, I don't hold things in library that I don't need to hold in the library anymore because they happened so long ago. I'm normally in the mode of experiencing what I experience right now, which is, means only right now. Whatever's happening right now is what I'm experiencing by the use of my energy, right? Which means I don't live in the past and I don't live in the future. The future's not here yet. The past is already gone, right? So there's only right now, which is what love is. Right, which, which, which basically means that that you're it's it's like always starting over at, from zero to whatever you want to to create next. Your internal being, so you choose whatever you want to create next as an experience in which to experience eternity again. That's how it works when you totally surrender, which was having a full phosphorus ignition, which will light myself on fire, which is total surrender to the fire, which means. You, you've given up tr trying to, to play power games with anything. It's like, it's like I described it. I'm done with this shit. Okay, just light myself on fire. And now, now instead of being an inverter, even though you have the inverter side and you have the converter side, now you become one. So now you become the center point from which everything happens, which is the center point of the sphere, which is perfect balance. That means you're running a, a, a gyrodome, a planet ship that's in perfect balance. Between both sides, because it's all inclusive, which is everything that is in creation, right? That is experiencing what I am, which is what love is, it goes on forever, gifting them love. And that's simple enough, but they're not experiencing what that is. Why? Because they're still at war in their mirror. They're still experiencing that, which doesn't serve them, okay? Which, which is called resistant mode. So you have resistors and capacitors on any motherboard, right? Okay, so so in other words, the capacitance is low. Now, now you can take an aerial view of all the cities across the planet and, and realize all these buildings are like capacitors. So, you, so for example, you could take a 40-story building, 37-story building, but they do build those stories based on numbers and grids. Okay, 
on storage capacity of what, what I call loose bins. Remember, I, I mentioned that I did a video of that uh, when I was at the Gospel Mission in Grants Pass. I said these things need to be shut down because what they are is they're loose bins. You know what a loose bin is, right? And then you have a bin number, okay? Because everything is based on math, which is numbers, which is energy which is formatting codes, mathematical codes, based on what? Operating systems. So there are, there are buildings all across the planet, okay? Generate psychotronic generators, capacitors, right? Generators, capacitors. So you realize that the planet is a motherboard. I'm a motherboard operator. A single pole is a motherboard operator. Okay, so you know what the salvage mission was here when you're in a, a fallen spiritual realm. Brrr, crank the torque speed up. Brrr, spin it, get it going, vertical. Right now you're experiencing higher state of consciousness. That means we're burning off all the resistance that people are experiencing to experience more light, which is experience more love, which means light that thing on fire, baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is this is why I love Aaron and I. Sometimes we talk about, hey, you're running a computer, I'm running a computer. So you got RAM, I got RAM. I know. Is and we get into talking about libraries. You know, get rid of that library. So this is why I mentioned before in the past I was making huge memory dumps over on this island because you could do it here because you got five magnets that are running at high rate of speed when you, when I plug my monopole in here, right? So you see all the fake timeline bullshit. You know, all their alien machinery, all their cybernetic stuff that's running all their cybernetic super soldier programs that are basically running on finite light. OK, and that's why Kim Gozun made a very cryptic remark when she said it doesn't exist anymore. That's right. It doesn't. That means that all these timeline breaches are collapsing. We're collapsing them all. Everything. We're collapsing everything and pulling everything in. That's what polarity integration does. So you can look at certain people that have had access into these programs that work with these very elite corporate types. Okay, corporate mind, which is the fourth side, see? Because they refuse to totally surrender. So they're experiencing how, how bad, if you want to use the English language, how, how fucked up things got. As a result of what? What we created. It's, it's, it's much like, well, look what we created. Now we're experiencing the result of what we created that went haywire. And Alex calls it a buffoonery system. But it's not funny because it's extremely painful. That's why I cried like a baby down there in front of that lady. And she says, what is wrong with you? And I felt I hadn't done enough. So that's like taking responsibility and accountability for what we experienced as a result of what happened through those experiences. We become aware of when we come in here. Why we're fixing it. So I've always said, what I know down here is because I know what we know up there. As above, so below. Otherwise, I'd be held, it, it, it's sort of like being held at the mercy of those that keep fucking things up. That are not sane. Those, those are your altars. Right? I mean, think about it. All you have to do, if you wanted a model of how this works, go take a look at the movie called Dominoes. Came out in 1977. And the fact that it came out in 1977 wasn't coincidence either. With Richard Ridmark and Eli Wallach, and they did a good job of what happens. That means that everybody within that organization, because of what they do that they know that is wrong against God, much like a remark Denzel Washington said one time, you know, that, uh, that the devil's going to ignore you, Okay. When you're doing the devil's work, Satan, right? Father of reptiles. Those are your Draco and your Anunnaki. They're in league with each other, right? So, um, so when you realize that something has fallen and the result of having fallen and they don't have any love to give and you have other beings in which they're holding soul consciousness energy as traps, then you can understand how the one is going to feel about that. Right? That's against the law. That's against the law of one. Right? So that means they have to take account for what the use of their own mind's energy against others, what they do to others. 
because now they create an energy debt. As a result, they're in, which now we're back to the math. So the math doesn't lie what eventually is going to happen when you're the one, which is the law of least effort, because everything has, as an heir, has the right, inherent right to experience eternal love, being loved, that the, they're in creation. So you can tell by the altars, which is the fractalite virus, as a result of not experiencing what love is, as a result of experiencing trauma, as a result of that trauma by others. And what that does, it's like letting the air out of the balloon. Just like letting the air out of this place. 21% to what is it now? The last time I checked, it was 15 and a half. Machine environments, right? No souls are left. No spirits left. They don't need that oxygen. See, so I dumped that right in the lap of the ACIO, you know, let them live with that, right? So this is, this is really where the one takes the gloves off, just as mama did. Love is the law, period. It's no longer negotiable. And, and, and the reason that it isn't is because they're, they're, they take a look at the, the Indian wars, Indian wars, the wars between the natives, the indigenous peoples in Turtle Island. They broke every treaty. That's a broken arrow. They represent broken arrows. That means that wherever they go, there's going to be a broken arrow, which means there's not ever going to be any peace. Okay, that's those are all your military types. And even though I've qualified these statements to, to let you know that, that I appreciate the sacrifices that they made, okay, they're actually going to war against themselves in their own mirror because what it is that they believe that they're fighting it in their own mirror is the result of the energy that they're using to experience it with. Because they've yet to heal. So what, we, what we're talking about here is polarity integration in order to pull all the fragments in so that there isn't a soul left that isn't experiencing what eternal unconditional love is. You see how that works? In other words, it's it's as if we're going to uncreate that which has been created that we experience in our mirror, which is what war is. It's as if it never existed. It's, it's, it's as if the fire is going to burn all of it off. As if you never experienced it. Because it's just like when I was a child. I'm not supposed to experience anything less than what I am, which is what love is. It goes on forever. That's a one. That's a monopole. So I'm not supposed to experience what I experienced here. This is not a realm in which I would ever experience anything like this. This is impossible. That's what makes it an illusion. That's why war is an illusion. Because God is not at war with himself. God is in love with what he's in love with, which is what he is, which is what love is. So therefore, if God represents a high speed vibration, which is code one, and wants to join and mate and matter with a goddess, now he becomes both. Now he's one. With all creation, we're gifting love to you. That's how simple it is. They refuse to, to surrender to the one. Okay, so that's a choice that they make. Right? So now you go back to the movie The Chosen and you see the result therein as a result of what they keep doing, which is going to war against me. Anybody. So there has to be universal accountability, multiversal accountability, right? The math, the math tells no lies. So yeah, so uh, let's see what kind of libraries I'm running today. <laughs> I think I'm going to go out. The sun is the sun seems to be out here uh, good good today. So this is a good day to work with the sun. Start breathing with the sun and breathing with Mama Earth, and do some prep work for tomorrow. How about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a great day. I love y'all. Be good to yourselves.